Okay, just sending out the look, Geth now. Doing no works for herself. Thank you. No, don't run. What are you running to? Ow, that hurt. Get your ass up. Yeah. One last command. Come here, man. Running away like that for. Mm, you're getting weaker now, isn't it? You feel it? That shield down, man. Don't be putting no shield. Oh, I didn't know there was one there. Run. Run, man. Immunity. Thank you. I'll hold that, man. Melt him. Same, we got that lift. You already got that lift. Yeah, use that lift. Lift him up. Yeah, come out. This is not over. Saren is unstoppable. Hey, Benizzi, you're done. My mind is filled with his light. Everything is clear. Me. The Rachni didn't cooperate with you. Why should I? Minute. I will not betray him. You will. You... You must listen. Sarah mm, you finally listen. come to your senses now. Nah. I can fight his compulsions briefly, but the indoctrination is strong. Are you saying he brainwashed you? People are not themselves around Saren. You come to idolize him, worship him, Bruh. do anything for him. The key is Sovereign, his flagship. It is a dreadnought of incredible size and its power is extraordinary. Yeah, where do you get that from? Where do you get that? I want one. No, I'm joking. Where did it come from? I cannot say. The Geth did not build it. Its technology is far more advanced than that of any known species. The longer you stay aboard, the more Saren's will seems correct. You sit at his feet and smile as his words pour into you. Mm hmm it is subtle at first. I thought I was strong enough to resist. Instead, I became a willing tool, eager to serve. Bye. They sent me here to find the location of the Mew Relay. Its position was lost thousands of years ago. Mm, yeah, how do you lose a relay? How's that? 4,000 years ago, a star nearby went supernova. The shockwave propelled the relay out of its system, but did not damage it. Its precise vector and speed are impossible to determine. As millennia passed, the nebula created by the Nova enveloped the relay. It is difficult to find any cold object in interstellar space, mm -hmm. particularly something swathed in hot dust and radiation. Someone on Novaria found it? Two thousand years ago, the Rachni inhabited that region of our galaxy. They discovered the relay. The Rachni can share memories across generations. Queens inherit the knowledge of their mothers. I took the location of the relay from the Queen's mind. I was not gentle. Well, that's not nice, is it? So the Rachni found it. They searched patiently. They are territorial creatures driven to close any possible way into their systems. Why does Saren need the new relay? What's he trying to do? He believes it will lead him to the conduit. I would tell you more if I could, but Saren did not share his counsel with me. I was merely a servant to his cause. Okay, okay. You can still make it right. Give me the information. 
I was not myself, but I should have been stronger. See, Benazia is not really, she's not really a pagan, she just got mind controlled, which is kind of deep. I do feel sorry for Liara and this. what happened to her mum, but it's deep still. Saren wouldn't tell me his destination, but you must find out quickly. I transmitted the coordinates to him before you arrived. Alright. You have to stop me. I, I can't. His teeth are at my ear. Fingers on my spine. You sh you should. Oh, you should. Mother, I don't leave. Fight him. Really? You've always made me proud, Liara. Die. Boy, now we're back. And we're back. It is here, you gotta come out. Woo, freeze. <laughs> She gave me that freeze. No. Oh my god. Come on, man. You look. Shoot. Do something, please. I'm on the floor. Help me. Help me, please. Um. You should bury him. I ain't supporting my overkill. Yeah? Deal with her. I cannot go on. You will have to stop him, Shepard. Don't die, Benizio. We've got Ned and Jill. Maybe we can... No. He is still in my mind. I am not entirely myself. I never will be again. Oh, that's deep though, man. I feel for Liara. Mother. Good night, little wing. I will see you again with the dawn. No, why? They always said there would be a... Disrespect. I don't know why this tune is playing in the background. It's definitely not supposed to be playing in the battle. Done. The battle is done. <gasps> oh no. <laughs> Imagine that just creeping up behind you like that. Oh, my dear. This one serves as Right now, Queen, man. God voice. damn. We cannot see. Not in these low spaces. Your musics are colorless the music no, i hear that still but i don't, I don't understand what you're saying what? The, the music Your way of communicating is strange flat it does not color the air when we speak one moves all this is going to be a fun conversation <laughs> hey rex is my guy broski left behind the children you thought silenced. We are Rachni. Um, what should we ask? Yes, I can. So you, yeah. How are you speaking through? How are you speaking through her like that? What's getting on there? Because she was dead. I shot her. Thought. We pluck the strings, and the other understands. She is weak to urging. She has colors we have no names for. But she is ending. Her music is bittersweet. It is beautiful. The children we birthed were stolen from us before they could learn to sing. They are lost to silence. End their suffering. They cannot be saved. They will only cause harm as they are. Hmm. What's wrong with them? Well, I go don't on. understand. Why are your children killing people? These needlemen. They stole our eggs from us. They sought to turn our children into beasts of war, 
claws with no songs of their own. Our elders are comfortable with silence. Children know only fear if no one sings to them. Fear has shattered their minds. I understand. A child left <clears throat> alone in a closet until she is 16 would not be sane. Hmm. If you're sure they can't be saved. It is lamentable, but necessary. Do what you must. Oh yeah, you have to, yeah. You have, we have to go and deal with the hot labs anyway. We stand before you. What will you sing? Will you release us? Are we to fade away once more? There are acid tanks rigged up on that thing. Set them off. Millions of my ancestors died to put these things down. Don't let them come back. Rex, we can't be can't be too rash like that, man. Let the Krogan go too far. This is a chance for us to atone. She has yeah, she's a new queen, man. She ain't done nothing. Plus, we need that backup. You get me? We gonna need that backup in the future. Or return our people to the silence of memory. What's your plans, though? I need to know what you're saying. Yeah. Would you attack other races again? What are you lot on? No, we, I, do not know what happened in the war. We only heard discordance, songs the color of oily shadows. We would seek a hidden place to teach our children harmony. If they understand, perhaps we would return. Okay. Right, right. Well, you're Are you a survivor from the war? A clone? We do not know. We were only an egg, hearing mother cry in our dreams. A tone from space hushed one voice after another. It forced the singers to resonate with its own sour yellow note. Mm -hmm. Then we awoke in this place. The last echo of those who came out from the singing planet. The sky is silent. Don't worry, I ain't gonna kill you, man. I won't destroy your entire race. You'll go free. Yeah, I ain't stupid. gonna be responsible for your that. Didn't fight these bastards, so maybe you don't get it. Well, you're right, she does. Nah, come on, Rex, man, relax. Come on, man. Man's not, man not dead enough a whole race. Off? Exactly. My people will clean up this mess later, just like we did for the Solarians. Mm-hmm. And that's how you got yourself into the genophage, goddammit. Well, Rex, you're gonna thank me later. You, be, you best believe that. You're gonna be thanking me later. Bugs are writing songs about you. Mark my words, you'll regret this. <laughs> yeah. Let them know, Commander Shepard, I saved your ass. Just me doing no fuckery out there. You best believe I'll come and finish the job. Mm-hmm. Alright. Get up out of here. That alarm ringing off. deal with the uh, her children that cannot be saved because they've completely lost it Wagwan are you here to secure the situation how are you holding up you must listen to me if we do not contain our mistake they will drop bombs from the battle stations you understand you let these things out? Uh, I am only following the you jackass. Binary Helix found an egg. It was on a derelict ship, thousands of years drifting. This was Ragnar's ship. Inside they find many eggs in cryogenic suspension. Mm -hmm. A thousand year old egg hatched? Yes. Very tough to be so long frozen. That it survived the centuries. 
This is miraculous. Binary Helix plan to clone Rachni, mass produce them, create an army. Okay. But when they get here, they find this egg is not a common Rachni. It is a queen. After she lays eggs, they move her to Rift Station. They are thinking that without her, they can raise the babies to be obedient. But yeah, what about a male? Don't you need a male to get eggs? Queens are born carrying the genetic code of their fathers. Eggs are carried away from the colony to hatch alone. Queens can lay eggs in hours and have a colony in days. This is how they spread so quickly. Okay, okay. Separating them from their mother didn't work. Uh, this was exactly the wrong thing to do. I am thinking that without a queen, Rachni do not develop properly. Her mind is shaping theirs. These Rachni are uncontrollable. Can we save them? Then all we need to do is bring her here. No, I am sorry, but this will not work. These Rachni are beyond saving. It is a sad thing, but they must be euthanized. I am thinking that the neutron purge must be hey, the neutron purge was that sounded like we gonna system. blow shit up it creates burst of neutron radiation kills everything within the station <clears throat> part of me about that damage of varying degree once the purge is armed we'll have to fight our way out give us a minute to patch up and rearm no i don't even know why i pressed sure, that man sure i wait here I am not so much good for searching now, yes? Well, clearly. You've just been chilling there, but... I am feeling not so well. You had to be triggered up purge. How the purge? Arming controls are nearby. All you do is insert the key. Then I will get nearer and destroy... Absolute disrespect. And what did he say before that? His mother always said that he was gonna... Get a bad ending, that is rude. Look what happened to him. Oh my god. Leave from me, bro. What happened to you, though? Oh my god. Let me get them codes, big man. Damn. God damn. Let's go and set off that neutron purge. Get the F up out of here. Cause you you about to see we about to get chased. I have full access to the facility and I'm at your disposal. Yeah, start that neutron purge, man. I'm trying to get out of here quick. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code. No, no, I got that, I got that, I got that. No, wait, oh, I got that. Uh, sick semper to <laughs> <laughs> That is not the correct code. Please report to security for arrest and interrogation. <laughs> yeah. I'm dead. I'm sorry, my boy. I like, I like that choice. I just had to do it. I got the code, but I got it. I got it. Code Omega. Local execution. Verify. Code Omega execution in 120 seconds. Alright, cool. Bye! No! Right now! Get away from me! Oh, you're not gonna let us run, man. You are violating. Lift, lift, lift. Lift. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Oh my god. All of a sudden, they're just blocking the door, bro. That has never happened to people before, you know. Look, I can just run right past them. Like, what the hell, man? Everything going wrong in this place for that. Move. Move. Oh my days. I've never died on this bit before. And the first time it would happen would be on film in it, you know. Come on man, move. Whatever. Run. Run! Run dude! Look how many of them there is in there, man. God damn it. Alright, dealt with them. Yeah. We heard that we blew everything up. They are finito. Uh, you know, I have to go back up there. Them men up there are cool. Let's just get back on the tram and get the F up out of here. Time to come out. 
Peak 15 We dealt with that Let's get back Peak 15 has been dealt with But done now So we can get back to the ship What's our next move, Commander? Head for the Mew Relay? Hey, hey, hey. relax. The Mew Relay could link to dozens of systems. Chill out. Unless we know exactly where Saren's going, we'd just be wasting our time. Tell her again. The Commander is right. We cannot rush off blind. We still need to learn Bobby more about Saren. Bobby Relay. Even though what's going on over charge. there. Did the Commander resign when hey, listen, I listen, listen, listen. Don't chat to sis like that. the same team here, Williams. Yeah. She's just trying to Don't help. Don't be chatting to sis like that. Sorry, Commander. Yeah. This is a You're forgiven. Man. We're all on it. Everyone go get some rest. Brew, dismissed. Ovaria report is away, Commander. You want me to patch it through to the council? Oh, go on then. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Go on, Commander, talk to these bozos. Do not cut me off like last time. I failed to find it amusing. Hey, listen. <laughs> Save the sermon. I'm just here to follow up on my report. Yeah, but this I don't like chatting to you, look. Accurate, Commander? You found I was about to disconnect again. Do you have any idea what you've done? How many generations until they overrun the galaxy? Oh my god. This queen is different. She understands why her kind had to be wiped out last time around. I hope you're right, Shepard. Our children's children will pay the price if you're not. Mm -hmm. We'll be waiting for your next report, Commander. Mm -hmm. Lucky I didn't cut your asses off this time. Yeah? Had a good day. If I had a bad day, you know, would have disconnected that call straight away. All right, hold on, Mr. Journal, before we go, here we go, like Pharaohs now. Um, oh yeah, these are the, the side of missions and stuff. I'm not gonna do too many of the side of missions. I'll be honest with you, and the certain ones that we're gonna do, but. We ain't gonna do all of them. I'm not even gonna sit here and guess it like that. It's Good just not gonna here. happen. We got a transmission coming in from the Citadel. Top priority clearance. From who? The ambassador. It's not his signature. I think it's from the council. I'll patch it through. The all right, cool. What well, y'all got for me, man? Commander Shepard, we've received information that may be critical to your mission against Saren. Yeah, tell me. I'll take Speak all to the me. Help I can get. We've received an urgent message from one of our infiltration regiments in the Traverse. Infiltration means units. spies. Spectres tend to attract attention, Commander. But they are only one arm of the Council. Special task groups are often a better option for monitoring developing situations. We currently have several infiltration units scattered throughout the border regions of Citadel space. This particular unit was gathering intel on Saren. Okay. What did they find? Unfortunately, the message we received was little more than static. The infiltration team must be in a situation where they can't set up proper interstellar communications. But the message was sent on a channel reserved for mission critical communications. Whatever they were trying to tell us, we know it was important. Considering your interest in Saren, we thought you might want to investigate this. Find out what happened to our team. The signal originated from the planet Vermeer. Appreciate it. The Council prefers not to become involved in the specifics of Spectre activities. We only want you to be aware of all your options, including Vermeer. That's Good fine. Luck, See, you lot actually you came with something that was useful, else. yeah? Instead of calling me doing up chattings and chatting shit, you lot came with information, which is what I like. That's all I wanted from the beginning. Instead, you look like to call me and start shouting about things. Oh, you let the wreck now live. Come out, man. Don't worry about what I'm doing. You lot are here sitting in offices and chilling in the Citadel and that and I'm out here in the field bro, you wanna be calling me chatting? Allow it. Try not to hear a bar of it mate, yeah? Don't wanna hear nothing. Um, should we go Fer- wait hold on, well, let's just go Ferris anyway. I'm gonna check, where's Verma? I can't even remember Verma. Right, I'll read, read it. Um, I don't remember which one did. No, wait, I'm not. Where am I? No, we're not going there yet. I'm even mad. I'm even like I don't know what happens there. 
I do know what happens there. And we are not going Commander, there. Not urgent yet. message from Alliance Command coming in. I'll patch it through. Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett from Alliance Command. Well, going Hackett. What's going on, Blue? Situation here. You're the only one that can handle it. What do you need, Admiral? There's an Alliance training ground where we test weapons and technology and live fire simulations. Oh, I hate this mission. I'm not going to go and do it. No, this is on the moon. I hate this mission. It's gone rogue. Rogue AI in my ass. Computer is thinking on its own? We're not Actually, I might do it. <sighs> I don't, I don't like, uh, it's not aware One side mission in the mess, I do not like. We didn't do anything illegal here. Virtual intelligence support is critical to our military success. VIs process thousands of status reports and react in nanoseconds. No human can do that. Okay. We need you to fight your way through the training ground of the VI Corps and manually disable it. Cool. Don't worry, Admiral. I'll take that thing out. I know Spectre's answered the Council, but you're still human. You're still part of the Alliance military. And right now, we need you. Mm -hmm. The VI controls all the facilities, weapons, drones, and automated defenses. You're the only one that can pull this off, Shepard. Good luck. Yeah, come off to my land now, man. You have to go to each individual, like, um, little hut thing or whatever, the one base thing on the moon, and just destroy this. Because I think there's like four of them, like, just to, just to beat the, um, sort of, sort out the AI's BS. It's just kind of long, man. I've never liked that mission. Oh, my dears. Anyway, um, Rovia. Yeah, so what do you feel? Let's go and have some conversations with the people then. Where's that bum kid? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Shut to that brother there, man. Alright. What do you want, Shepard? Well, I'll go on, Rex. Why did you become a mercenary? Lots of reasons. Mm -hmm. Such as? Mm-hmm. Such as, I needed to get out of our system. I needed to eat. I needed to survive. Why not stay and help your people? I tried to help. That's why I had to leave. What happened? Yeah, yeah what's going on there? I was betrayed. I was head of a small tribe. Pardon me. We were trying to restore order after the war. But the other tribes were against us. They followed Jared, one of the few warlords who survived the war with the Turians. But he was old, and so were his ideas. He wanted to continue the war. He wanted us to fight. Turians, Solarians, each other. It didn't matter who, as long as we were fighting. And what about you, my guy? What did you want? I just wanted Jared to shut up. <laughs> to stop his ranting. I wanted him to stop leading the tribes astray. But he couldn't understand how much things had changed. I hear that. We didn't have the numbers to go to war. Even if we did, the genophage made sure we couldn't replenish our numbers fast enough. I told them all to forget about war. We needed to focus on breeding. Mm. At least for one generation. Get the numbers up, I hear that. We were getting through. Some of the tribes started coming around. What was that? I think the man said. didn't appreciate that. No, he didn't. He arranged a crush with the tribes. A meeting on neutral ground. He wanted to talk. We met at the hollows. Near the graves of our ancestors. The skulls of our dead laid bare to remind us where we come from. Where we all go. It's as sacred as any Krogan place can be. Violence is forbidden. Mm-hmm. It sounds like a trap to me. You must have suspected as much. I did. But when your father invites you to a crush, well, there are some laws that even we hold sacred. Bro, your dad, your Jared was your father? Dad. He was. Until that day. Matching. We talked. But we didn't get anywhere. When it was clear that I wouldn't join him, he gave the signal. Disrespect. 
His men leapt from the graves of our ancestors like Krogan undead. The few that were loyal to me died quickly. <laughs> I escaped with my life, but not before I sank my dagger deep into my father's God chest. God damn, Rex. That is why I left, and that's why I'll never go back. Nah, he used to. You must have family other than your father. Don't you miss them? You trying to make me cry, Shepard? <laughs> I've got some unfinished business with my family, but that's all. What kind of business? <sighs> Before I left, I made an oath to my father's father. I get this little sad mission here. I swore to recover my family's battle armor. It was taken from him after the uprising. What's so important about this armor? It's a relic. Useless, really. But it was worn by five generations of my family before the war. It's rightfully mine. Okay. Originally, it was taken by the Turian military. We weren't allowed armor or weapons after the war. Now, it's in the hands of Ton Actus, a Turian scum who collects relics from the war. No worry, we're gonna get that back. Selling Krogan artifacts that were stolen from my people. We're gonna get that back. We're gonna get that back. He's got several bases where he stores his goods, all fortified and guarded. I just don't know which base has my family's armor. Just tell me where to start looking. I'll upload the data to your nav system. But, Commander, I want to be there when you find Of course, it. you're gonna be there, my guy. Of course, you are. My dog, Shepard. Commander. Ashley, can we talk, talk for a minute? Sure. Jeez, we say oh, we can chat now, yeah. We saw Caden in a news vid about the Normandy. He's cute. Later, sis. But I don't know about Caden, but. Let's pretend this never happened. Bra, Caden. In the lieutenant chief. Of course not, sir. Fraternization is against regulations. What's up? You didn't come by to eavesdrop on family mail. Your family's Wait. I don't think we patterned it properly though, because normally yeah. she'd be chatting about man and that. Always been close. Me and my sisters especially. With dad on duty so much, I had to help mom raise them. Did your father serve with the fleet? Yeah. Took any crap posting he could get that offered space time. You know what? He worked his ass off trying to get recognized. But he never made it above servicemen third class. See if we can rectify that, but me chatting about Caden, you know that's sad, man. What about your mother? You haven't mentioned her. You must know what military wives are like. Strong because they have to be, able to raise kids while dad's away on a six month cruise. She has a degree in planetary geology. She and dad both wanted to see new worlds. She gave up her career to raise us though. Okay. Uh you have more than one sister? Sounds like a big family. Yeah, I'm the oldest, then Abby, then Lynn. Sarah's the youngest, she's still in high school. With four girls, Dad used to say he felt more outnumbered at home than on maneuvers. Um. Uh, what was I say? Shit. Um. Home. Where did you grow up? My bad. All over. We transferred a half a dozen times before I finished grade school. You go where personnel command sends you, right? I guess that's why I'm so tight with my sisters. We'd have to leave all our friends every two or three years. After helping raise them, your sisters still talk to you? Amazing. <laughs> Things were tense between Sarah and me for a while. Then we bonded. Sounds like a story. Feel like sharing? Come on. Sarah got herself a boyfriend who wanted to go faster than she did. Mike. I didn't think he was a bad kid, just pushy. Lynn would send me these worried vid mails, and I'd tell her to relax. Oh, vid mails. Where were you when this was going on? I was on active duty. Sarah's graduating high school this year. This was only a couple years back. Okay. They were on Amaterasu. At the time, I was assigned to Chernobyl. Same cluster, but a dozen hell away. Close enough to talk regularly, too far to make it back in an emergency. 
I couldn't afford a fast packet flight. Yeah, no means no, but really like wouldn't be pushy. Come on. Yeah, of course. If he didn't ask at all, I'd wonder if he thought Sarah was ugly. <laughs> damned if you do, damned Bruh. if you don't. Mike thought they'd go for a romantic walk in the woods, cause he figured it was past time they did the deal. I actually don't know if he messed up the romance, but we're gonna we gonna find out. Didn't have a scratch on her. Good thing mom and dad had us all learn some kind of self-defense. I took emergency leave and walked Sarah to school for a few days. Why didn't you tell the police? She said it wouldn't solve the real problem, and she and Mike would both become household names. It was a small colony. I said it was her call to make, that we should let her do it her way. Mom was pretty pissed about that. <laughs> you said all of your sisters learned self-defense? Lynn did pistol practice, but didn't like it. She's kind of nervous. Sarah took Aikido. I used to do Aikido a very long time ago. <laughs> Likes big skirts and the tops you have to do uh, to. They do great things to your figure, though. And what about you? One of Dad's friends taught me Marine hand to hand. Uh, raw. Did anything happen while you were home? My last day out, Mike was waiting for us. Sarah had told her friends, so everyone at school knew what he did. He wasn't happy. I wanted to snap him in half, but Sarah gave me this look, this let me handle it, I need to do this alone look. She kept her cool, God bless her, as he screamed in her face. She just let him vent. Then he tried to punch her. Raw. I swear, she just flowed around him. Next thing I knew, he's face down on the sidewalk, and there's blood everywhere. That's unbelievable. Sarah must be as good as you. Better. I'm more or less a straight up puncher. When he swung, she just... She wasn't there anymore, and he fell. She helped him stop the bleeding and had me call an ambulance. She told the paramedics he fell. Before they took him to the hospital, Mike touched Sarah's arm. I thought he was going to end up on the ground again. But he hung his head, whispered, I'm sorry, and started crying. <laughs> and she hugged him. He got his ass whooped. The Williams women are a decisive bunch, Commander. We do things when we're ready. Not before, not after. Where was your father during this? Wasn't your family stationed near him? <laughs> Dad always wanted to serve in space, but he wanted us to have real ground under our feet. He'd say, space is beautiful, but you can't raise a family there. I cannot rest from travel. I will drink life to the lees. All times I've enjoyed greatly have suffered greatly. Mm -hmm. that that tension, yeah. For always roaming with a hungry heart, much have I seen and known. Cities of men and manners, climates, councils, governments. Raw, you read poetry you now? Okay. Um. I never thought I'd hear you reciting poetry. Just because I can drill you between the eyes at a hundred meters doesn't mean I can't like sensitive stuff. Just don't spread it around. Yeah. Ulysses was my dad's favorite poem. Every time he shipped out, he recorded me reading it. He had a dozen versions when he retired. Does he still like it? I sure hope so. I read it to his grave every time I go home. Dad passed on a few years back. He's probably still watching, though. You mean from wherever we go after that? <clears throat> Dead on, Skipper. He's with God now. That's not a problem with you, is it? Is of course not, man. Of course not, of course not. Never an atheist in a foxhole? I've been in a lot of foxholes. Yeah, I guess you have. I've met a few people who were really weirded out by my faith. Because I work in space, I can't believe in a higher power? Jeez. Hello, have you people looked out the window? How can you look at this galaxy and not believe in something? I should get back to my duties. Didn't mean to take up so much of your time. I think we messed up, you What's know. Your opinion on the last mission? You mean the Rachni, right? They were I think because we um. They proved that two thousand years ago. What did we do? We did some nonsense, man. When I shut it down, when she was on the racism thing, and I shut it down. Disrespect. Oh, I shouldn't have shut it down so quick. I forgot that messes it up, man. You must have messed it up. 
Yeah, look, you're calling me sir and all that and that. Ah, boy, do look like we can get Ashley in this one. Hello. Why did you want to be a CSEC officer in the first place? Hmm, that's a good question. There were several reasons, I guess. Like what? Probably the same as most officers. I wanted to fight injustice, wanted to help people. I guess my father had something to do with it, too. He was CSEC, one of the best. I grew up hearing about his accomplishments or seeing his picture on the vids after a big arrest. He's taking my resignation pretty hard. Mm -hmm. Oh my days, why does this keep That's dropping tough. off? But you'd think he'd be impressed you're going after Sarah. Mm, my father's a CSEC man to the bone. Do things right or don't do them at all, he says. He thinks I'm being too rash, too impatient. He's worried I'll become just like Sarah. He actually talked me out of becoming a Spectre when I was young for the same reasons. Bruh. You, asked to be a Spectre? you want to be a Spectre, big man? Well, I was Could have been joining with me? Could have been teaming up? Well, we're already teamed up, but you know what I mean. I could have received special training, but my father didn't like it. He despises the Spectres. He hates the idea of someone having unlimited power with no accountability. He wouldn't like you, Commander. No offense. No. Disrespect. I suppose I can understand his concern. You can. But Saren's not going to play by our rules. C-Sex rules. If you want to nail Saren, you need to send someone who isn't restricted by policies and procedures. Just because you can break the rules doesn't mean you should. Yeah, you need to have you need to be level still. You gotta be level. You gotta level it. You level it, Gareth. You know what I mean? I see what you mean, but thanks, man. You're welcome, my guy. Uh... Oh, you know what? I didn't talk to um, Taddy, but we can do that. We can do that in a little bit. Or later. Well, I'm Dr. Chakwas. What's going on? Gotta speak to Liara, man. See how she's feeling, you know? Must not be nice what happened to if her, you man. here to talk about Benezia's death, you need not bother. She brought it upon herself. You, you must feel bad a little bit, isn't it? It's your mum. She was your mother. She was. But she was not. I prefer to remember Benezia as she used to be, before she was corrupted by Sovereign's power. The best of your mother lives on in you. Her determination, her intelligence, her strength. That is kind of you to say. I appreciate your concern, but I am fine. Mm -hmm. Benezia chose her path, just as I have chosen mine. I am with you until the end, Shepard. Oh, Tell right, me about right. yourself, Liara. Me? I am afraid I am not very interesting, Commander. I spend most of my time on remote digs, unearthing mundane items buried in long-forgotten Prothean ruins. You must get lonely, Sounds darling. dangerous. And lonely. Sometimes, I would run afoul of indigenous life forms or stumble across a small band of mercenaries or privateers. But I was always careful. Until the Geth followed me to Artemis Tau. I never found myself in any situation my biotics could not handle. As for the solitude, well... That is one aspect that most appealed to me. Sometimes I just need to get away from other people. Um, why is that? You don't like other people? I suppose it comes from being a matriarch's daughter. People expected me to follow in Benezia's footsteps. They wanted me to become a leader of our people. Matriarchs guide their followers into the future. They seek the truth of what is yet to come. Maybe that's why I became so interested in the secrets of the past. It sounds so foolish when I say it out loud. It sounds like I became an archaeologist simply to spite Benezia. All children rebel against their parents. It's a natural part of growing up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you share the wisdom of the matriarch, Shepard. That is exactly what Benezia said when I told her of my decision. But there was more to it than that. I felt drawn to the past. The Protheans were these wondrous, mysterious figures. I wanted to know everything about them. That is why I find you so fascinating. You were marked by the beacon on Eden Prime. You were touched by working Prothean technology. Um. Sounds like you want to dissect me in a lab somewhere. What? <laughs> no, I did not mean to insinuate. Oh, calm down, Liara. It's just I a joke, man. Look at you. I only 
only meant that you would be an interesting specimen for an in-depth study. Uh, no, that's even worse. I'm dead. Calm down, Liara. I was only joking. Joking? Oh, by the <laughs> goddess. How could I be so dense? You must think I am a complete and utter fool. <laughs> you jackass. I prefer to spend my time in the field with data disks and computers. I always seem to say something embarrassing around other people. It's not that deep. Don't Please, worry. Just pretend this conversation never happened. Good man. Go. Goodbye, Shepard. Time for me to bounce. Yes, Commander. Well, go Is there something you need? Well, going for that bum cave, Caden. I'd never worked with him before this mission, but he has an impressive service record. Over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. Mm, what's L2 what for? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Mm -hmm. Lieutenant Alenko was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. What kind of complications? Kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets migraines. Okay. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Time for me to bounce. Okay, you bum. Yeah, I think we messed up the Ashley romance still. I can't lie. Uh, I forgot, man. You're not supposed to just tell her to come out when she's on a little racist rant and that. You're supposed to um, talk her down out of it. So I think that completely messed everything up. But we gonna see. Anyway, we're at the... What is this? Is this the third, third story planet? Yeah. Go and visit the colony of Pharaohs. A lot of fuckery going on down in this planet, I'll tell you that. Ashlach Ashlach Even though she's not very happy with me right now with exterior atmosphere Logged the commanding officer is ashore exo yes, I'm coming out deck. I have left Well go on We saw your David ship. Fidan wants to speak with you immediately. You that? Who's Fidan? But immediately. He's our leader. He needs your help to prepare for the Geth. They are making another push. Please, up the stairs past the freighter. What made you think I even kept bra? Wait, them Geth told you to come out, bro. He got slapped. I came to link me. Nah. That is rude. Oh, get out of here, man. You shoot him, man, like that. Oh. I'm thinking, what are you lot shooting at? What is going on? Ah, oh, this thing again. Could you eat stuff? Hey. So all this jumping. Fight down, where you at? Sure 
that they are. As I was saying, there's a lot of interesting Not stuff that happens I'm a merchant. on this colony. The gas are mounting another attack. What's in that decrypt that? Cool. I'll go and find them. Oh, Commander, I'm glad they finally sent somebody to help us. You're a bit late, aren't you? Our Listen. Sorry, Commander. Everyone Why is everyone just on some rude tip brand? Right I don't understand. Noveria, man, them were just rude. Comferos, rude. No respect. Damn, man. Heavy armor, human. Okay, all right. We know we got some squad points actually. Right, so you can now we can put on heavy armor. That's great stuff. Um, we're all charmed up. Um, let's do your fitness, increase our health. Health is always nice. Uh, actually, you can wear heavy armor now. I got the sure boost. Your sword training and that. Sword training. Your fitness, get your health up, you get me? Get them assault rifles up. To learn a little bit of first aid, and then put one in a full training. Garus, big Garus, uh, Turian agent, yeah, decryption. Get that up. So you got full decryption now. Some soul training. You can now wear medium armor. You get a sure boost in that. Overkill as well. Alright. Let's go and see. Um, fire down now. Wait, hold on. 
Well, do you have to go on my component on it? Yeah, yeah. Change it up a little bit. Hit me. Change it up a bit. I saw out um, my teammates' guns as well. There, I saw that. I saw out there the core armor and all of that as well. I'll probably do it off camera to be honest. It's boring to be watching that, innit? But, um, let's find the, the key, so but, you yeah. You, I'm just glad your colony is safe. I've got you lot, man. Concerning your efforts against the Geth. They may have been slowed, but they'll be back. They Don't worry, I'm here to back. deal with all of they'll that. They'll be fine with the Geth are after, and you'll all get out of here alive. Mm-hmm. We don't know what they're after. They came, they attacked us, that's all we know. Their main base is at the Exogeny headquarters. A good place to start looking if you want answers. Okay. What's Exogeny? It's the company most of us work for before the attacks. They fund this colony. The Skyway leads directly to Exogeny headquarters. You can't miss it. Cool. Of course, there's an army of Geth between here and there. Yeah, we're good, man. I didn't expect this would be easy. Then maybe I can get this colony operational again. Absolutely. Um, what am I gonna ask? What yeah, the base. What can you tell me about the defenses the Geth have set up? I don't have any details, but I'll wager it's a lot more fortified than the command post. They landed at least one Geth ship at Exogeny, and I've seen large walking tanks on the Skyway. Expect a hard fight. Okay. Tell me about your colony. Life is hard and often brutal, even without our current problems. Colonial affairs back on Earth told us we'd be beneath the notice of any raiders. I guess they weren't counting on the Geth. But, despite everything, there's something tranquil about this place, unlike anything I've experienced before. I could get you live. Normandy isn't huge, but we could airlift you out. The Geth fighters are too dangerous, and I won't be driven off this world. It is our home. Mm, one of them ones. There's a chance for growth here that's simply not available on other worlds. How big was the original Pharaoh's colony? We were nearly a thousand at the main site, two hundred more at my outpost. When the first wave obliterated our defenses, we fell back to Zeus Hope. All right, that's enough. Learn more. Good luck, Commander. That's enough. I'm glad to help out. All right, guys. I think we are going to leave it there for now. Um, we had a nice little session. And then, yeah, so we've landed on Pharos. So we're going to help out the, this colony right here because the GIF are doing damage right here but um yeah hope you guys have enjoyed and i'll catch you lot in the next one see ya take it easy